Good evening, Lizzy boys, and welcome back to me not having an organized room. Uh, once again, I took a little short break from uploading, just because I didn't even show you that I got this doll. <laughs> I didn't make a haul video or anything. She came with her regular shoes, I just gave them to Roxy, because, you know, Roxy. So today, I got a package, and it's a special one, because I bought this doll from one of my Bratz group chat friends on Instagram, his name is Drag Racer. Now well, that's his username at least. I don't know if you want me giving out his actual name. But I bought this doll from him and I promised to do a review. So we're gonna do it. I've been out all day and I just got home. So yeah, it seems like a good place to cut. Yep, there we go. I might have to finish this off camera because once again, I'm bad at doing things with one hand. Okay, with everything opened up, I could just reach in and start pulling things out. Yeah, everything is all wrapped up very nicely. Very nice. We reach in and pulling everything out. Wait, what the hell? Hold on, who is this? Wait, I only bought one doll. <laughs> Hold on, what? Wait, is this a surprise that you mentioned? Oh my god, who is this? I can't even tell. Is this Lily? Who? I know I should probably be focusing on like the actual doll that I bought, the Yasmin, but I'm very interested in trying to figure out who this is. So, um, oh my god, the tape keeps sticking back on. Yeah, this is a Lily. Oh my god, her hair is so smooth. Oh, she's gorgeous. I don't know which Lily this is, but I love her. Oh my god. If you guys don't know who Lily is, she was mostly featured in the Sweetheart line, but she also had a doll in the, um, I believe it was the Play Sports line. She had a snowboarding doll. I don't know if this is the Snowboarder or the, um, Sweetheart Collector's Edition one. It's most likely Snowboarder. But, wow. She's gorgeous. Her hair is amazing. I love it. Alright, so this is, um... Flashback Fever Yasmin's second outfit, and these are her second pair of shoes. And, no. Wait, which one's the second? I think this is second and this is first. And the Flashback Fever Yasmin is in here. So recently I have taken a liking to the Flashback Fever line from Bratz. I have no nostalgic co connection to it. The only one I have that with is Genie Magic and Rock Angels. But I just decided that this Yasmin is gorgeous and one of my friends happened to have her, so he sold her to me. I paid $46, that is including shipping because, you know, the six part I think was to cover the shipping. So she was about $40 overall. God, why am I trying to do this one-handed? I can't do it one-handed. Um, but overall, I'm very excited, I'm very excited to see her and he redid her hair for me. So let's just, oh my God. My God, you're so good with hair, she looks amazing. This is to hold her bangs down, by the way, if you're wondering what this is. Oh my god, the details. Everything you went through to make sure she arrived in perfect condition. Don't think it's going unappreciated. I appreciate it so much. I love this. Dude, these actually roll. Oh, that's so cool. Let me just get her out of the way. <laughs> She's fine. I didn't, like, throw her or anything, but, like, look. <laughs> I love that. Her looks, like, better than the stock. Oh my god. Um, I think I already mentioned that he redid the hair for me before I bought her. And yeah, this definitely looks better than the stock images. This is incredible. Oh yeah, and also her face is amazing. Like, look at this face up. Or screening, I believe it's called. Yeah, screening. Honestly, gorgeous. Some more bubble wrap. We have all of her accessories. This is absolutely insane. <laughs> Like, he sent me everything, and this, it's honestly so sweet. I appreciate it so much. She's even got, like, this little keychain of a, a roller skate. I could put this on, like, my car key rings, because I own a car now. I just can't drive it, because, you know, gays can't drive. So I'm afraid of I'm going to lose all these things. I'll probably have to Google her and see which of these pieces she actually needs to wear with her first outfit, because this is the one that I would prefer to keep her in. I adore her second outfit, though. It's so cute. These are the um, roller skates for the second outfit, I believe. And these are the roller skates for the first. So the gimmick of the Flashback Fever line is that each of the dolls are based around a certain decade. 
There are a few 70s dolls and some 80s. I don't know if there's a 90s, but I think there might also be a 60s. I think Fiona is either 70s or 60s. I don't remember. But there's also a Chloe, a Yasmin, a Sasha. And there's also some boys in this line, I think, but I don't really care about the boys. This Yasmin specifically is from the 80s. And, oh my god, why do I keep trying to open these one-handed? I know I can't do it. Okay, open everything up. And we've got her sunglasses, very retro. Got her little visor. That goes with this second outfit, the visor thing. Um, got her bag, her other bag. Oh my god! He sent me Genie Magic Megan's second outfit too? Well, it's her first outfit. Dude, you- Drag Racer, you are seriously too sweet. <laughs> oh my god, I'll have to like go grab her so I can put this on her. Oh, I knew he said he was including a surprise, but this is two surprises. Absolute madman. But yeah, 80s. <laughs> Oh, my dog's going nuts. Oh my god, they were, they were like, mentioning me in the chat because, you, you know, Abyss, they knew about <laughs> He knew about it. Oh my god. Okay. I'm gonna finally Google her. We're gonna get her set up, and we're gonna get the review on the road because you gotta, gotta do the... Yeah, let's just start Googling. So, I Googled it, and I'm going to get her all assembled now, but while I do, I figured I could tell y'all a story. So... Initially, when my friend posted this doll, um, somebody bought it, like, he listed it as do not buy, but somebody bought it anyway. <laughs> so we had to retype everything in the listing. And even then, while he was waiting on me to pay for it, because I was waiting to get paid by from Mercari, like, I don't even know how many people had it in their cart. It was like, the item had like almost 30 likes on it, despite being called do not buy, and... I don't know, I think a ton of people were hoping that I would, like, drop out and not buy it or something. Um, see, I gotta put this thing on her head, too. Just... Oh, I don't want to mess up her ponytail, though. Okay, the picture wants me to put that on her head, but I think we're gonna... Well, I could put it under the ponytail. Yeah, we'll put it under. See, I also have the option of putting these on her, but I'm not sure if I want to. They look like they could use a little bit of repainting, maybe. Oh, no. Oh, no, they're fine. Okay, maybe like the nose pad. Yeah, I could redo like the little nose part. I don't think it's called a nose pad. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Wait, this is the thing that goes on top of this. Gotta close that. Cannot lose any of this because rat's jewelry is not the easiest thing in the world to replace. I think that one of these bags usually has this thing attached to it. I will have to Google that. There's a lot of things I need to Google. Okay, so gathering together everything I got this is absolutely insane. I really feel like I didn't pay you enough for this. The price that I paid was $46, and I honestly feel like it wasn't enough. You sent me so much stuff, dude. <laughs> I'm so grateful for everything, though. I will do my best to take care of everything here because I don't want anything to happen to these two. They are gorgeous. I've actually been wanting Lily so much. I adore her. And this Yasmin is just everything. Oh, I adore her hair. It's so soft. Both of them have, like, super soft hair. So, this guy takes care of his dolls, guys. Um, I think he's planning on selling more. I will, um, promote his Mercari as soon as he starts listing. But for now, this was the only thing that he had posted at the time. I don't know if he has anything else up as of me making this video. I've been checking, though, and I don't think he's posted anything. But, as a whole, um, this doll is simply fabulous. I adore this Yasmin. I keep panning to the Megan outfit. I can't believe you sent me that. Um, her accessories are very 80s. They definitely nailed the theme here. But, oh my god. She's just so pretty. I don't even know what to say. This is probably one of the prettiest Yasmins, in my opinion. Once again, though, that's just my opinion. If you think there is a prettier Yasmin, like maybe Sweetheart Yasmin, then I'd probably agree with you. <laughs> but for me, this one is the number one prettiest. As for Lily, this is actually her snowboarder doll. Um, the group chat confirmed it for me. Oh my god. This doesn't feel real. This is crazy. So one thing is that she does have some slight chips, which are very easy to repaint, and this stain right here. I was aware of it, though. It's not a surprise. So I'll just be getting the acne cream. Where the hell did I put it? Oh, it's right in front of me. <laughs> 
I'm a dumbass. But yeah, she has all of her accessories, which I think I've said like 30 million times, but it's just so insane. Everything. Every single thing. Not even my Princess Roxy had that, and she was still semi in box and moldy. I'm still dealing with that. But like, I didn't expect the wheels to actually roll. Maybe I should have though, since Bratz has always been very high quality, except for, you know, 2015. But, um, where was I going with that statement? Have I mentioned how much I love her hair? Because, oh my god, the style is gorgeous. I feel so honored to have a, a doll whose hair was styled by the Drag Racer on Instagram. That is Drag Racer without the E. There is a um, dot in between the place where the E would be. Yeah. <laughs> I'll link him in, like, I'll pin it. I'll pin the comment where I link it. Or if he comments, I'll pin that. Either way. Either way, you guys need to know who he is. Oh my god. I keep saying, oh my god, but it's like, this is an oh my god moment. She is the moment. This Yasmin is everything. Before I end this video, I would like to say that these shorts actually look exactly like the ones Roller Chick comes wearing. You know, Roller Chick, the OMG doll. I think it makes sense, though, since these were both made by MGA, but it's <laughs> it's just a funny coincidence. Oh, well, there's nothing else to go over, so that about does this video that does it with this video. This. I would like to, again, thank my friend Drag Racer for selling me this doll and for all the bonuses. Oh my god, you are so sweet. But yeah, as always, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!